Hey everybody, I'm Dustin with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your video shake in Final Cut Pro. Let's get going. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you two easy ways to shake up your footage in your timeline, okay? We're gonna use effects. The first one we're gonna use is Earthquake, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to go down to your effects browser. It's right here next to the transition browser. Click that, okay? And the easiest way I found to look for these things is just for, to search for them, okay? So go down to search. Search for earthquake. Oop, if you spell it right, that might help. There you go, right there. See earthquake right there? Perfect. Okay, we got footage right here, okay? This guy's just walking across these. It's a nice uh, tripod shot, right? No movement. But I thought it looked cool if uh, it looked like it was in the middle of an earthquake, okay? So all you gotta do is drag the earthquake effect over it. And you see right from the start, it starts shaking the footage. Now it kind of looks like he's having trouble right with this effect you can change a few things you can change the amount of the shaking right so you can do like 10 point richter scale earthquake and it just really shakes everything up okay you can leave it at the default here 979 it gets a good little shake okay and then you can also change the layers so this uh this kind of shows like how much echo it's going to have and it really shows up when you really crank it right like look at all that that's like eight different layers being on top of each other. What you can also do is set the epicenter, right? So you can like move it all the way down here to the corner. That means it'll start shaking from that corner. That's the anchor point for the shakiness. So check it out, Ooh, shaky. What I like to do with this effect is um, add it to certain parts of the clip to emphasize, right? So like maybe this front half of the clip doesn't need any shaking. So I put the amount down to zero and then I hit a keyframe, right? Click that keyframe right there. And right about here, maybe it gets a little shakier. So I'll just up the amount, right? In that keyframe, I'm gonna put these layers back down to the regular. So now he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. Ooh. I hope it don't get shaky. Oh no. And now it looks like he's in the middle of an earthquake. Okay? Super simple way to add shakiness to your footage. Cool, right? I'm gonna show you one more way. Here we go. All right, I got this nice footage of this uh, woman skating right in the park. Very cool. Again, on a locked off shot. It's on a tripod. She's probably out there by herself, honestly, filming herself. But I wanted to make it look a little more natural, right? Like someone's holding the camera. So I'm going to add the handheld effect. So I'm going to search for it over here in my effects, just like the earthquake. Hand. Handheld. Bam. Just add that straight to your effect. And it'll crop in a little, so make sure it's not a super tight shot or you might you know, crop off the top and bottom of somebody's head or something. But what this does, it adds realistic motion to the frame to make it look like it was recorded on a handheld. So like a handheld rig and not just on a tripod. Let's see what it did here. Very cool. All right, I like my best effects when I lower it a little bit. And this is all to taste, right? But once it's lowered, it adds kind of, it's still there, but it's a little more manageable and it's a little more um, understated, I think. But well, there you have it, folks. Two quick ways to add shakiness to your footage in Final Cut Pro. No sweat off your back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to this channel to catch more tutorials coming out all the time. This is Dustin with Stupid Raisins. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.